Hey kids, welcome back to math. It's time for another day of decomposing. But wait, that was one of our power words. Let's stop and see if you remember. Do you remember what it means to decompose? Great job! If you said to break apart, you got it. Decompose means to break apart. In today's lesson, we're going to be breaking apart the numbers 8 and 9. Repeat after me. I can decompose. The numbers 8 and 9. Let's say it all together. I can decompose the numbers 8 and 9. Great job! Before we get into decomposing 8 and 9, we do need to talk about why we're doing this. It might seem like a silly thing, but you actually decompose all the time. In fact, I just did this morning. When I got to work today, I thought, hmm, I need to make five videos. I don't have time to do them all in the morning. I'll have to do some in the morning, and I'll have to do some in the afternoon. So I had to decide how I would break apart my work for the day. I decided to do three in the morning and two in the afternoon. That way I got all five of my videos done. You have to do the same types of things. You have assignments every day. You probably can't finish all of them in the morning. So maybe you can do your math and reading in the morning and your writing in the afternoon. When you decide things like that, that's decomposing to help break apart your day. Let's check out your first problem to see how we can decompose the numbers eight and nine. Throughout the day, I pick a total of nine beats. You can see this in my large circle. I can show that I picked some in the morning and some in the afternoon by breaking them apart into the smaller circles like this. I picked three in the morning and six in the afternoon. I could show this with my equation by writing nine equals three plus six. Remember that that equals sign means the same. Nine, the total of my beats, is the same as the group of three and six when they're joined together. Let's try another problem together. Let's say we picked a total of eight beats. How could you break apart the beats into a group picked in the morning and a group picked in the afternoon? You could say, I picked four beats in the morning and four in the afternoon. How would you write that as an equation? You're right. You could say eight equals four plus four. Do you think that that's the only way you can break apart those beats? You're right, there's lots of ways you can break apart eight beats. Let's try breaking apart eight beats again, but this time, instead of moving the beats, we're going to use our pencil to draw circles around the groups. You could draw a circle around two beats to show that you picked two in the morning. Then you would need to draw a circle around the rest of the beats to show that you picked the rest in the afternoon. How many did you pick in the afternoon? You're right, you picked six beats in the afternoon. How would you write that equation? You're right again, eight equals two plus six. Great job, that's how you can break the numbers eight and nine into two groups.